I had a customer call in and stated that they had a line break. That they had the dreaded blue flashing light on their charging base. I've already been out here and diagnosed this one. And uh, as you can see, it has a flashing blue light. And one of the processes I do right off the bat is I switch the wires around on the back side. And I switch my guides, my AL, my AR, and all that. But if you do all that, you don't get a green light. I made this jumper harness here. Pretty simple. It's just a wire. That's one solid loop. It goes back to AR and AL. And as you can see, I still have the flashing blue light. So we've got a charging station board that is bad here. So we're gonna unplug power. And I've already taken the screws out. There's one here and there's one here. T20s. I'll pull this off and you'll see the charging station board right there. I'm gonna take all these wires off. Really no tools required to pull this charging station board out of here. Uh, as far as out of this, there's a clip here and a clip here. Just kind of push those in. That board comes right out. And you'll see boards are very similar. There is a little slot up in here that the board needs to slide into. And sometimes the newer boards be a little bit tougher to get in. And then they're gonna slide right here into this corresponding. And then they push right down into this clip. Snaps in, get everything plugged back in again. Plug this in, we're gonna see if we get a green light. And there we go. Bad charging station board. We've got a green light back, replace the board. I'm gonna put these two screws back in right here. And uh, this mower should be good to go. If you have any questions or need any help with your auto mower, feel free to send me a message. Be more than happy to help. Again, this is Todd at myrobolawn.com, and we're here in uh, central Ohio.